Hello there. Hope everyone's having a great day. All right, we're getting back right into it. Last time we just entered the power plant, and now we got to find out we got to hit three switches. The only problem is the place is infested with these mechanical guards. Yeah, I don't think I have enough firepower just to blast them all. As usual, if you like what I'm doing, just hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos, just hit subscribe. Well, let's get into it. Great. Security Chief Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Spacious Choice Work Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarantine quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situation endangered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G brew. Zero G brew, an ale that's good for what ails ya. Okay. Personal logs. S. Tanaka, Chief of Security. Chester Higgins, again. That hallhead found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals. So I had to write him up for tampering with company property, just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for whatever I've done. Let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my walkaway room for the foreseeable future. Lockaway room? Geothermal security office. Doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm gonna end up a chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointed every which way. Company tells us that they're safe, programmed to treat humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but auto mechanical never will. I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me. But the company has never been wrong before. I suppose. Man, these guys are like indoctrinated. Alright. Personal log as Tanaka Chief of Security. Worst, the worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I return. Probably him or her and that stuff in the beginning. I only got three picks. I don't want to like use them and then like. Bypass 
shut. That's good. Okay, so if Tanaka's the guy I think it is, he is, he's the guy in that control room. Maybe if I search him. I do have a bypass shot. Alright, I'm gonna use my picks then. downstairs because it seems like it's gonna make it the most sense. Cause we gotta get to that switch. Nicely done. Assault rifle, heavy ammo. See if that body. System searching for unauthorized persons. back in there.
Alright, that doesn't seem to be the right move. Guess we're going upstairs. Hang on, let me check my journal real quick. That's right. Because we can't open the door. Wait. Okay, fine. Let's read the messages. Vacation recovery's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Val geothermal plant. To exceeding your staff's budget in your latest corn report. Just to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. <laughs> Effective, blah blah blah. No help here. What is you know what? All right, let's check one more place. Passwords like obvious or something like password. feel like such an idiot now.
Okay, we're gonna have to grab all this stuff. Ourselves there, Chica. Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals. Every century in drone. It's not my place to say so, but. So this run contract to space's choice mission of being as cheap as possible. Just in case I'm honored it, I would like I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Space's Choice family. Space's Choice is the leading brand in affordable sundry across Halcyon. It is not the best choice, it's Spacer's Choice. Kenex log 020. Just finished routine maintenance on our mechanical centuries. Found some strange modifications to their logic modules. I've had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. The company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago. I'm guessing this was the work of those visiting technicians. I filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. it said the company knew what it was doing ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on a logic module. Time to do a little experimentation. Okay, gotta get over there. sneak around all this. careful try not to attract no, 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 any of those I think this gun's about to break or something luckily I have two for the both no, no, of you no, just leave me alone
wouldn't let me go through. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Right, let it go by. We're gonna have to take him out. Steam distribution control. Wish I did that earlier. Magazine increase. This magazine carries modification. Okay.
there's always a way. Wish I had known that earlier. What happens to the veil? You know, you keep asking these questions that I've already been thinking about. Processing. So nothing. Security control. Terminating security search. Jesus. Bunch of those left. Is it barred? Last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision is final. Yep. 
we're gonna go this way. Kind of curious what that dude was about. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? God damn it. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I... No one's ever told me those words in that order. Free trial for friends at Spacer's Choice. Huh. Okay, she said some stuff, but those guys. Ah, this is a this is a hard decision. I was like, Ugh. those guys don't know.
Uh, crap, what am I gonna do? Um. Sorry, lady. No, but. God. They chose to leave. Yeah, but if they come back, then nothing will change. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to the botanical garden lady. Stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. 